Safety Unlimited knows the importance of visualization during training. Because of this, we have created the first ever, one-of-a-kind, complete animated video series depicting a complete hazmat incident. This animated video series will take you through an entire incident from leak discovery through the mitigation process and conclude with a post-incident analysis. When the leak is initially discovered, the first responders immediately start isolating the area. Hey! Come over here! And making required notifications. Yeah, we have an alarm over at the chemical building. Once the hazardous area where the leak has occurred is secured, additional responders start to assemble to the scene. As newly arriving responders are briefed on the details of the incident, ICS assignments are made. We have a leak near a flange from the rear of the chemical building. The initial incident commander and the HAZMAT team group supervisor work together to formulate an incident action plan for mitigation. While the HAZMAT team members prepare for a level A entry operation to mitigate the spill, a site safety plan is also being developed. An OSHA trained incident commander ultimately arrives and assumes command from the interim IC once the trained IC has been adequately briefed. Okay, great. I'll go ahead and formally assume command. I'll let Greg know so he can tell his team. You got it. Prior to the entry operation commencing, the site safety plan is used to conduct a pre-entry briefing. During the pre-entry briefing, the team assembles and discusses the planned entry, including emergency procedures. We will shift our priority from the entry operation to the emergency at hand. During the entry operation, the entry team monitors the release area to ensure it is safe to enter and not a flammable environment. I'm turning off the O2 alarm. Looks like it's 2% LDL and 18% oxygen. Copy. Once inside the hazard area, students are shown a point of view perspective from inside a level A suit of one of the entry team members. Okay, we're inside. We're inside the chemical room. You can see the leak. Following a successful entry operation, the entry team proceeds to the decontamination area to be washed off of any contamination. Our animated video series concludes with all the responders participating in a post-incident analysis. The intent is not to place blame, but to focus on what went well and what areas that we can improve upon next time. Each of you will get the opportunity to briefly discuss your role and what you learned from the response. We are confident that you will not only find our animated journey thought-provoking as you consider how each situation can apply to you, but also educational in your quest to become a professionally trained hazmat technician.